The theorem is to find all the bilinear transformations which match the half plane iz greater than or equal to 0. iz means the imaginary part of z greater than or equal to 0. That means if this is your z plane, what is iz greater than or equal to 0? That is the region above the real axis, right? Also including the real axis. So this is iz greater than or equal to 0, right? On to the unit circular disk mod w less than or equal to 1, which means in the w plane, if this is the uh, unit circular disk, so the region is the points inside the circle, all the interior points, and also the points on the circle, right? So this is mod w less than or equal to 1. So we have to find all the bilinear transformations which maps this half plane onto the unit circular disk, right? And the concept behind this theorem is that for the inverse points with respect to the region in the W plane, we get the corresponding inverse points with respect to region in the Z plane. And then we will find the required bilinear transformation on the basis of this concept. So let's move on to the proof. Let W equal to the original transformation that is AZ plus B over Cz plus D with the condition AD minus BC should be non-zero. Please mark this as 1. Now we know that the inverse points with respect to the unit circle mod W equal to 1 are 0 and infinity. And the corresponding inverse points with respect to real axis Iz equal to 0. First we are going to take the part mod w equal to 1 and iz equal to 0, right? In the theorem, it is given to us that we have to find the bilinear transformations for mod w less than equal to 1, for iz greater than equal to 0, but here I am taking first the equality case. So for mod w equal to 1, I am having the points 0 and infinity and corresponding inverse points with respect to the real axis iz equal to 0, I am having the points Yes, when the point W equal to 0, for what value? For Z equal to negative B over A. So for 0, I'm having the negative B over A. And when the point W becomes infinity, for the value Z equal to negative D over C. Yes, if you put in the denominator Z equal to negative D over C, you get the point, the value as W equal to infinity. So for infinity, I'm having the corresponding inverse point negative d over c. Now because these are the inverse points in the z plane, so let me denote alpha to be as minus b over a and its conjugate point that is alpha bar to be as negative d over c. So from 1, so from 1 let's take a common from the numerator. So we get a into z plus b over a and Taking C common from the denominator, we get Z plus D over C, right? So this is equal to A over C and writing B minus A as negative alpha. So this is Z minus alpha over the denominator becomes Z minus alpha bar, right? Please mark this as 2. Now since the real axis IZ equal to 0, that is the Y equal to 0, is to be transformed into the unit circle mod w equal to 1, right? So this real axis is to be transformed into the unit circle. So we have to uh, transform this real axis into this unit circle mod w equal to 1. So for that, if we take the point on this real axis, let's say z equal to 0. Let's consider this point. So the point z equal to 0 must correspond to a point on, on, not in the interior, on the circle mod w equal to 1. Please note this. So the points on the real axis must correspond to the point on the circle mod w equal to 1, right? So for that, as mod w equal to 1, Let's put the value of W over here from the from this 2. 
So taking the mod on both the sides, we get mod W as mod of A over C and mod of Z minus alpha over Z minus alpha bar is equal to 1. Putting Z equal to 0 over here, I get A over C mod into this is 0 minus alpha over 0 minus alpha bar is equal to 1. Because z equal to 0 is point lying on i z equal to 0, that is the imaginary part of z is 0. So these two are equal. So I'm cancelling these two. So from here I get mod of a over c is equal to 1. Hence, I can write a over c as e the power iota lambda. Let's say lambda is real, right? When you take the mod of this, I know that this is equal to 1. So taking a over c as e to the power iota lambda, where lambda is real. And now putting this value a over c back in 2. So we get the required bilinear transformation as w equal to, instead of a over c, I'm writing e the power iota lambda into z minus alpha over z minus alpha bar. This is the required transformation. Next, let's talk about the imaginary part of z strictly greater than zero. For that, I have to take a point belonging to this region. That is, excluding the real axis, I have to take a point from this region that is i z strictly greater than zero. And let me take a point from here, let's say alpha. Right? Now, where this point alpha will map into the w plane if you put z equal to alpha over here in this third equation what you get you get w equal to zero we get w equal to zero for z equal to alpha yes which means which means this point is mapped into the center of this unit circle the interior of this unit circle yes so since z equal to alpha corresponds to w equal to 0 which is an interior point of the circle mod w equal to 1 so the point z equal to alpha must be a point in the upper half plane that is i alpha strictly positive putting z equal to alpha we get i alpha strictly positive so with this restriction this is a desired transformation right hence w equal to e the power iota lambda z minus alpha over z minus alpha bar this transformation maps the upper half plane i z greater than equal to zero onto the unit circular disk mod w less than equal to one provided i alpha must be strictly positive let's verify this result yes okay so let's consider w w bar minus 1 so this is equal to putting the value of w over here that is e the power iota lambda z minus alpha over z minus alpha bar into w bar that is e the power negative iota lambda and here this will be z bar minus alpha bar over z bar minus alpha minus 1 right so this two this will become 1 the product of these two is 1 and now multiplying these two, we get ZZ bar and minus Z alpha bar, then minus alpha Z bar and then plus alpha alpha bar divided by ZZ bar minus Z alpha minus alpha bar Z bar plus alpha bar alpha. Factorize this, you will get Z minus Z bar into alpha minus alpha bar you can also remember this divided by z minus alpha bar into z bar minus alpha so z minus z bar can be written as two iota imaginary part of z into alpha minus alpha bar can be written as two iota into imaginary part of alpha divided by this product is mod of z minus alpha bar square, right? Thus, w w bar minus 1 is equal to, this is negative 4 i z i alpha over 
mod of z minus alpha bar square. Please mark this as 4. Now since i alpha is strictly positive, right? So this is positive. So 4 shows that i z equal to 0 mapped onto right hand side becomes totally 0. Yes, then this will map onto w w bar minus 1 equal to 0 which implies w w bar is equal to 1 that is mod w equal to 1. So i z equal to 0 that is your real axis is mapped onto on the circle. Yes. And i z greater than 0 this will map down to okay this is positive we know that i alpha is positive but if i z is also positive which means w w bar minus 1 is negative so which implies w w bar is strictly less than 1 that is mod w is strictly less than 1 so i z greater than 0 that is the upper half region of the z plane is mapped onto interior of the circle mod z less than 1 means interior of the circle right so if i combine these two results i can say that the conclusion that i z greater than equal to 0 is transformed onto unit circular disk mod w less than equal to 1 right okay so diagrammatically Let's uh, conclude all these results. First, i z equal to 0, that is this real axis, orange colored one. This is mapped into mod w equal to 1, that is on the circle, the points on the circle. Then i z greater than 0, that is the upper half of the plane, that is excluding the real axis. I have not included the real axis here that is the upper half plane strictly the upper half plane is mapped onto interior of the circle that is mod w less than one and third that is our required result that i z greater than equal to zero which means this upper part upper half plane including the real axis this is mapped onto the interior of the circle and also the points on the circle that is mod w less than equal to 1 right hence the result okay thank you god bless